Hey gang, this is your coach Jeff coming to you for another Strong at Home workout with our Stronger Life members here live. Um, so excited. We've got a packed house. We're going to have a fun workout today. Um, I ripped off a title from uh, a classic CrossFit workout called Fight Gone, Fight Gone Bad, <laughs> and I've retitled it Fight Gone Right, okay? So I reprogrammed it um, to make it something fun. We're going to use weight training um, and lots of lots of repetitions to get our cardiovascular strength in. So that's kind of a common theme with us with high intensity interval training is we use our weight training to help provide um, our cardiovascular component. So the first part of our workout is gonna be our strength component and we're doing goblet squats. So goblet squats, uh, squatting is just coming down into a chair, having a seat, standing up. If you are someone who likes to have a target for your squatting so that you know where the depth you're trying to hit, or if you just feel more comfortable with that, go ahead and get a chair ready um, so you'll have that target in place. Goblet squats, uh, we load those from the front. So you, if you have a dumbbell, you'll put that either up at your collarbone like so with your elbows in close, or you can hang on to just one head of the dumbbell and put it like this. And that's how you're gonna load this, okay? We do want you to try to load it from the front if you're able, because that's gonna really help you with your posture and keeping your body upright as you squat. Things to think about there. Now, for our metabolic conditioning today, for our cardiovascular piece, we've got sumo deadlift, which is a wider version, a wider stance deadlift, okay? So instead of having our feet under our shoulders, we're gonna have our feet wide. Toes are gonna be pointed out a little bit. We're gonna keep our back straight and it's still that same motion. But we wanna to try to keep knees over the ankles. And we'll go over this in more detail later. Uh, so we'll have one, it's a, uh, the metabolic conditioning is an EMOM. So every minute on the minute, we're gonna switch movements and you're going for maximum repetitions. So we've got sumo deadlift, we've got shoulder press, and we've got bent over rows, okay? Pulling with both arms at the same time. Shoulder press is from our shoulders, pressing overhead, trying to get our elbows locked out. So something that you need to know is for most people, and this varies from person to person, but most people can deadlift quite a bit more than what they can squat, okay? So you may need up to three different weights for this workout if you have lots of options, Maybe you've got four, but the heaviest weight will be for your deadlift. You're gonna want a moderate to heavy weight for your goblet squats, depending on where you are with your squatting. Um, you're gonna want your lightest weight for pressing overhead. Most of us, that's one of the most difficult movements is our arm muscles are much smaller um, than our leg muscles. Um, and then your bit over rows is gonna be a moderate weight. You're gonna be pulling up towards your chest, okay? So kind of be getting your weight options together. It's okay on the metabolic conditioning. If you don't have something heavy enough available at home, um, you're gonna focus on getting more repetitions in during that minute. So you'll have a full minute of doing reps for sumo deadlift, a minute of shoulder press, a minute of bent over rows, and then you'll get a minute rest. Okay, just to prove that I am human, I put a rest minute in, okay, on a short workout. Um, but that's because I want you to really challenge yourself on the weight training, okay? So that is our workout. So we've got four components, so we'll go through it three times. So you'll sumo deadlift three times, you'll shoulder press three times, and you'll do your bent over rows three times. And it's okay if you can't go continuously through the minute, you can break that up, not a problem, okay? I want you to get your workout in uh, for the metabolic conditioning. I would rather you go a little too light then a little too heavy, okay? A little too light, then a little too heavy, because it's gonna be, the focus is gonna be more repetitions and higher volume for building our strength on that part. But what we need to do first is we need to get warmed up. And we're gonna do a warm up with all of these different movements. I'm gonna talk about technique for all of these movements, okay? Um, so first thing are our goblet squats. When we do our strength component, we'll be doing sets of five. I would like for us to work on air squats or chair squats, 
um, and work on depth. But I want us to do 10 repetitions warming up. If you've got pretty stiff hips and or knees, you may want to hang onto a chair or onto a, um, shoot, what is it called? I'm blanking. Door frame. Door frame. Thank you. <laughs> hang on to the door frame to start loosening this up. But just a quick reminder, as you're doing your 10 squats, you can go ahead and start warming up here. I want your feet to be at least a little bit wider than your shoulders and toes pointed out a little bit, working to drive your knees out to the side as you squat. I like to put my hands out in front. That helps keep me balanced. Let's go ahead and hit 10 of these. You go at your pace warming up. We want the chest to be up tall. Because remember, when we start loading this, we're going to have it up here. We want, we want to keep your upper body upright. Make sure you're driving those knees out to the side. Working on getting a little more depth as you get loosened up. When you start your squat, you want to think about your hips going back to initiate. So chest is up, hips back, push those knees out to the side. That's probably like 15 or 20 because I'm not a good counter. Okay. So we're not going to deadlift yet, but we are going to work on our hip hinge to prepare to deadlift. So deadlifting is just picking things up from the ground. Uh, but what I'm going to have us do if you did deadlifts with me uh, earlier in the week or did the floor to shoulder, you're familiar with this. So you got two options. You can get in this kind of swimmer's position. And I want you to get your weight in between your ankles, feet wider um, than shoulder width, much wider than your squat position, toes out. And I want you to put your hands together Reach down towards your kettlebell or towards your dumbbell you're planning to use. Stick your bottom out. Let's do 10 of these. You get a slight bend in your knees. Stick your bottom out. Back stays straight. You want to try to keep your knees over your ankles as much as you can. And the weight you're reaching down to should be in between your ankle bones. When you stand up tall, I want you to squeeze your glutes and make sure your tummy's nice and tight. Good. Now, we're gonna work on our pressing. Um, I'm gonna use no weight and just start getting some blood flowing in our arms. We're gonna do 10 of these. Pretend you've got dumbbells in your hands. And those dumbbells are resting on your collarbones. I want you to tighten your tummy, tighten your butt, and I want you to press overhead till your elbows are straight and bring your arms down. Let's do 10 of these. Your bottom and your tummy are tight. You're breathing, you're not holding your breath. We're pretending those dumbbell heads are hitting our collarbones. And we're pressing overhead, locking the elbows out. We don't want our elbows to chicken wing, okay? Elbows are pointing straight down. Press overhead, breathe. Let's get 10 of these. Good. If, you, if you've got your weight handy that you're gonna be using for your, um, for your shoulder press, I want you to use that to start warming up your bent over row. So this will be your lighter weight. We're going to get into that same hip hinge position we're going to deadlift from. So feet are wider than shoulders, toes are pointed out a little bit. We're going to stick our butt back, back straight. Elbows are straight out in front of us. We're going to keep our elbows tight to our side and we're going to have the weight touch our chest. Let's do 10 of these with a light weight, making sure we're breathing, making sure our back is flat. Unless you only have the option of a weight that is too heavy for you, I do not want you upright like this. Try to get in that tabletop position. It's okay if you've got a slight bend in your knee. Looking good, gang. Elbows stay close, 10 reps, breathing. Keeping your tummy nice and tight. Good. 
Okay, we're gonna start back at the top. I want 10 more air squats or chair squats. Driving those knees out to the side, keeping our chest up. Fight for a little more depth. See if you can go a little deeper into your squat. If you wanna hang out there for a second. I like to hang out at the bottom, get a little bounce, kind of see what I've got as far as range of motion on days I'm gonna squat. If you feel like you're hitting a block in your squat, try widening your feet, pointing your toes out a little bit more. If instead that just gives you a pull in your groin, <laughs> um, then go ahead and put your feet back. That'd be an indication I've directed you to go a little too wide. Good, all right. Let's go back to our sumo deadlift. I want you to get a moderate weight. I don't want you to use your deadlift weight yet. Maybe grab the weight you're gonna use for your bent over rows. If you've got a dumbbell like this, I'm gonna have you orient it upright, okay? And if you wanna go ahead and grab your weight, sometimes it's easier to start with the weight up top. So feet are wider than shoulder width, toes are pointed out. We're gonna stick our bottom back, touch the dumbbell head to the ground, and then come up. Let's go ahead and do five of these. Butt goes back, knees stay over the ankles, up tall, squeeze the butt at the top, squeeze, make sure we're breathing. Good. All right. This time I'm going to have you grab the weight you're going to shoulder press with, but just grab one of them. We're going to do 10 reps with this weight. Start with it at your collarbone. And I want you to just drive it overhead. Get the elbows straight. 10 reps with half the weight you plan to use for shoulder press. It's okay. If you can't get it all the way overhead, this position is probably a little close for pressing. Just want to get you good and warm. Okay, good. Bent over rows. I want you to grab both of your shoulder press weights. And let's do a set of five. Feet apart, stick your bottom back, get your back flat, pull to your chest, let the arms go straight. Keep the elbows closed, don't chicken wing out. With those elbows, don't want any of this, okay? Elbows stay close, good. All right. One more time through. This time I want you to grab a moderate to light weight for your goblet squats. We're gonna do five air squats with a light to moderate weight. I'm gonna pick my bent over row weight to warm up with. Feet apart, drive those knees out. Let's do five reps. Good. Set that down. Let's go ahead and move up to the weight we're planning to use with our deadlift. Let's do five reps. So this is with our feet super wide, toes pointed out. I'm gonna use the kettlebell here, make sure that the, that the weight is in between my two ankle bones. I've got a straight line here. Butt goes back. Grab the weight up tall, back down. Hold your tummy tight the whole time. If you grab your weight and you feel your back go and bend, you did not have your core braced before you lift it. Nice and tight. Just five reps. Good. Let's set it down. So we're gonna go to shoulder press. Go ahead and grab your shoulder press weight. We're gonna do five reps. If this is difficult, 
for five reps and you have a minute of this to do, then you need to go, you need to drop your weight down, okay? Dumbbell heads on top of your shoulders, five reps, press overhead. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. Good. Let's set that down. Let's get our weight for our bent over rows. Whatever you're planning to use for the workout, this is a good way to test it out. Five reps. If five reps is pretty difficult, you need to drop weight. Let's find another option. Good. All right. You guys are rocking it. Hopefully, you're a little bit sweaty, okay? Hopefully, you're a little bit out of breath. You should be for our warm-up. I want everyone to uh, grab a sip of water if you need to. If you need to run to the restroom quickly, do that now. We're going to start with our goblet squats, five sets of five repetitions. We're going to have a minute and 15 seconds per set. So this is the part of the workout we want to go heavy on. Okay, this is the heavy part, but get a sip of water, make sure you get your breathing under control, and we'll get started in just a minute. I'm gonna grab my water too. Good, if you have a chair handy, kind of like I have this box handy, and you don't wanna to have to pick your bell or your weight off the ground for getting set for your squats, you can set it up on a box or a chair, okay? So with this kettlebell, if I wanted to have it here so I can load my squat, do my five reps, and then set it down, if you don't want to pick it off the ground, that's an option for you too, because we do have deadlifts in today's workout. If that's something that makes you a little uncomfortable or you're a little um, maybe not super familiar with, that can cut your reps down a little bit. So, looks like everyone is back and ready. You guys ready to rock and roll? I love it, okay. First set of five repetitions. We've got a minute and 15 seconds to do five reps, okay? Make them good reps. Keep the chest up, drive the knees out. Focus on building your depth of your squat, okay? We are starting in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Get your weight. Five reps. Keep that chest up. Don't turn into a taco and fold over on me. It's not Taco Tuesday, it's Friday fun day. Good. Whew. Looking good, gang. You still have 45 seconds to rest. Just five repetitions. Lean in. Techniques looking good. Just five reps. Good. 30 seconds. Still to rest. Good stuff, gang. So make sure you're working on initiating that squat by taking your butt back first, okay? Make sure you're keeping your chest upright. We're loading this from the front because we want to work on our posture with our squatting, and I want you to work on your squat step today. Five seconds for your next five repetitions. Go ahead and get your weight. Here we go. Chest stays up. One, two, three. I've seen some great squats today. You guys are really crushing this. Good. Very good. Whew. We've got plenty of rest. Let your muscles recover so we can push the weight today on our squats. Ooh. You guys are looking good. 
If you're someone that's got your camera angled up kind of high, drop it down for me. If you can't see your legs in the shot, I can't see your legs in the shot. Yeah, thank you, perfect. Good. Make it easier for me to see what's going on. Okay, we've got 15 seconds. This will be set number three, if I still remember how to count. We're not sure sometimes if I can count. Okay, five seconds. Grab your weight. Good, let's go. Drive those knees out, keep your chest up. Good. Good, everyone's squats are looking really good. Focus on driving the hips back first and then bending the knees. Let them bring your bottom down to the ground as far as you can. Those are looking good. Thank you guys for changing your camera angle so I can take a look at your technique. You guys are looking great today. Woo. 30 more seconds. I'm gonna just step around a little bit, shake it out. You can get some dance moves on because it's Friday. We're rolling into Memorial Day weekend. Beautiful day out today. All right, we've got 10 seconds. Be set number four. Get your weight. Good, let's go, five reps. Good, good job. Good, upper body positions are looking good. Good job. Very good, okay. Last set coming up. Last set of five. So remember, this is an open set. So if you, if your weight is too light and it's too easy, do more repetitions. You get to do an unbroken set. So if you can do 10, 12, 14 reps, you're welcome to it, okay? We don't all have the perfect weight at home. Good, 15 seconds for our last set. We're gonna be using our legs and we're gonna be using a different muscle pattern. So it's okay, you can push this. Use different muscles to deadlift than we do squat. Three, two, one. Let's go. Give me one big unbroken set. Feeling good today? Push it. Today's not your day? That's okay. You're here. You're doing it. That may be success for you today. If you're feeling good, I want you to push it. Let's go. We've got time. If you have to take a rest break, your set is done. Woo! That's it for me. All right. If you're still feeling good, want to get a couple more reps, you go for it. Okay? Today might be the day you're feeling great. You need to push. Good, I gotta breathe. Woo. Good job, all right. That is our strength component. We've got another strength component though, don't we? A little bit lighter weight. Remember, if when we went through the warm up. If five or 10 reps was like, man, I'm gassed, then you need a lighter weight, okay? We're going for maximum repetitions each minute. Each minute is maximum repetitions. We do have a rest set in there, okay? So just a reminder, we've got sumo deadlift, keeping the back straight, bottom goes back, okay? Then we've got our shoulder press, okay? And then bent over rows here. And then a minute of rest. A minute of rest. 
okay? I'm gonna get our timer set. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Just 12 minutes, not that long. I want you guys to push yourselves. I just don't want you to pick a weight that's too heavy and only get a few repetitions in, okay? That would not, that's not what we're going for. Grab a sip of water. Check in on everyone here. Okay, I'm gonna wait till I see everybody back in view. First movement is deadlift, and then we'll go into shoulder press. I'll be watching the clock to try to give you an idea when we've got five, eight seconds left to transition to your other weight, okay? Everyone looks like they're ready, got their weight out. Okay, first minute, sumo deadlift. Keep that back straight, keep your core tight. If you're holding on to a weight, your core should be tight and you should be breathing, okay? Don't hold your breath and don't let your tummy turn into gooey jello while you're lifting, okay? <laughs> Let's go in 10. Okay, max reps. It's okay if you have to set it down to take a short break. But if you can, keep going, keep going. Feet are wide, back is straight. Ready, go. Set a pace you can hold for the whole minute, if possible. If you overshot, you need to rest for a second or two, that's fine. But by and large, you should be moving the whole minute. Looking good, gang. Keep that chest up. Keep your core tight. Okay, 20 more seconds of work. And then we're gonna switch to shoulder press. Doing good. Okay, two, one, switch weights, switch weights. Go get your shoulder press weight, get ready. Okay, here we go. Shoulder press, one minute. This is probably gonna be the most difficult minute for most of us. It's okay if you have to take a little break for a few seconds. You should have a weight that you can mostly keep moving for the minute. 20 more seconds of work. Full repetitions. If your form's falling apart, take a little break right here. Take a little break, five more seconds, and we're gonna switch. Woo, sit your weights down. Grab your weights for your bent over row. Going in three, two, one. Elbows stay close. Elbows go straight. Try to bring the dumbbell heads up to your chest. Try to use the pace. You can keep going the whole time. If you're like your coach, you probably picked a weight that was a little bit too heavy. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> 20 more seconds. Check them off. Okay. Set your weights down. Woo! Oh, man. We did that one early. We're hitting our rest minute. That's okay. You just got five extra seconds of rest. You've got your rest minute. If you've got the wrong weights, use this time to switch them out. Figure out what you need. Woo! I'm gonna see if I can hang on to that on the bent over rows for one more set. That was on the line for me. Shoulder press, man. Minute shoulder press is pretty rough for me. This is how we get better though. We get to practice lots of repetitions today. We can work on technique and we can build strength through volume. 
or maybe not pushing as heavy, we're getting some good volume in today. You got 15 seconds till we get back on those sumo deadlifts, okay? Get ready. We got 10 seconds. Think about your form. Think about your tummy being tight the whole time, back staying straight. Ready, go, one minute. Up tall, each rep. Keep that chest up, keep your core tight. Keep that weight between your ankles. If it's up by your toes, your line of action is off a little bit. You guys are looking good. 10 more seconds, and we're gonna switch to shoulder press. You guys are looking good. You've got this. We're only going through this movement one more time. Okay, switch out your weights. Move to your shoulder press weight. Okay, once you got your weights, let's go. Good job, gang. Hang in there with me. We're all gonna get through this together. We're gonna be stronger for it. We're gonna be better for it. I don't know if I like this mic being so close to me, hopping and puffing. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> okay, five seconds, then we're gonna switch. All right, switch out your weights. Bent over row. I won't cut it short this time. Okay, let's go. Back stay straight. Keep a pace you can hold. Be better than your coach. We have to hit those margins if we ever find out what our limits are, right? You're probably a lot stronger than you realize. Halfway. I need a short little break here, man. Okay, back at it, let's go. Fifteen seconds. One resident, oh man. Five seconds. Oh, good job, rest minute. Rest a minute. All right, your prideful coach is getting a lower weight. I gotta switch it out. Okay, okay. We went to 30s. Coach Dustin in the house hooking me up with some dumbbells. So I can rest. Oh man, what a saint. Perfect, thank you. All right, gang, you're doing good. One more minute of each. We only have three minutes of work to do. Good, 20 more seconds to rest. I'm gonna focus on getting my breathing back. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Here we go. All right, five seconds, get set up. Think about what your perfect movement looks like. Let's go. Keep that chest up. Make sure you're setting that bell down in between your ankles with each rep. Should go in the same spot. Straight line up, straight line down. Good, 20. More seconds of work. You guys are crushing this thing. 
Hang with me. You've got this. Five more seconds and we're gonna switch. Get ready for shoulder press. Okay, so your weight down. Woo, get your shoulder press weight. Get it up on your shoulders. Here we go. I'm gonna have to adjust my reps a little bit, man. Try to keep yourself moving. Make sure your tummy's tight, your bottom's tight. Give yourself a stable place to press from. I'm gonna take a little halfway break here for a few seconds. It's okay if you need to do that too. Nope, just me. Okay. <laughs> you guys are killing me today. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, back to one rep of it. All right. Ooh, okay, set those weights down. Bent over row, last set. Last set, last set of work. Try to keep yourself moving. This feels a little better. I had to adjust my weights down. I picked the wrong thing. It happens. I have to slow my reps down if I'm going to keep this going. It's okay if you're with me and you need to take a little halfway break. Stand up for just a second. Okay. Let's go 20 seconds. We're almost there, guys. 10, 8, 5 seconds. Oh, good. Woo! That is it. That is it. Give yourself a round of applause. Man, I am drenched with sweat. Picked the wrong weight, paid the price. That's how it goes. We don't find our limits unless we push ourselves. My ambition was larger than my muscles today. Let's all walk around the room. Let's get our breathing and our respiration rate under control. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Take a couple laps. Feel free to do the same. Grab a sip of water. We're going to stretch it out. Ignore my timer. That's our rest minute we're enjoying right now. I need one more lap, gang, and then we'll stretch. All right, you guys crushed me. You guys crushed me. I was hoping someone would take breaks with me so I didn't feel so bad. But you guys were over there crushing it. I love it. You guys did a wonderful job. Let's do some stretching. Um, let's start with stretching our shoulders out. I tend to be a creature of habit. We're gonna start with this posterior capsule stretch. Arm out, bring it across your body. Pull gently. Drop that shoulder down away from your ear on the side you're stretching. You don't want that shoulder up, trying to keep your ear warm. Ooh. Ann always says she doesn't believe me when I'm sweating that out of breath. I hope I proved it to her today. These are hard. <laughs> These are hard. Switch arms, arm out across your body. Good. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through your mouth. Good. We're gonna do a little inferior capsule stretch. I like to shake my arms out a little bit. Makes them feel kind of nice before we go into the next stretch. Arm up, bend your elbow. Pull that elbow towards your head. 
push down gently, the elbow down towards the ground. Just gently, you don't need to crank on it. Should give you a nice stretch through your shoulder. Lots of shoulder press. I was building on my shoulders on that bent over row, man. Back side of our deltoids help pull our elbows back towards our body. Good, switch it out. Really feeling it. Coach got a little ambitious today. Motivated seeing all you guys moving. Lifting heavy things, making it look good. Inspired me today. What community is all about. Uplift each other up. Right. Man, we did lots of sumo, deadlift. Let's stretch those hamstrings, those medial groin muscles out. Let's start with, um, let's start with just a straight hamstring stretch. Kicking your heel out, getting your knee straight. Stick your butt back, keep your back straight. Let's just start with this little classic hamstring stretch here. We'll make it a little more interesting in a second. Stick your butt out, chest up, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. How about using classic weight training for cardiovascular training? Man, how about whipped my tail? Okay, a switch, go the foot out, heel down, butt back, knee straight. Keep your chest up, don't collapse your chest. Your hamstring attaches at your hip down here. If you crunch like this, you take that nice hamstring stretch away because where it attaches, don't put it on slack. It's going to be tight, get a good stretch. Good, all right. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. You guys have probably all done this one before, but we wanna make sure we get those muscles in the position we were doing our deadlift. So feet wide, toes facing forward. I want you to reach down towards one ankle, stick your butt back, same thing goes. If you collapse your spine like this, you probably don't feel a stretch. Knee needs to be straight, back needs to be straight. Reach towards that ankle, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's get a few deep breaths here. Good, come up, let's go to the other side. Other ankle, make sure your back's straight. Make sure the knee's straight on the side you're reaching towards your ankle. Some of you may be able to touch your foot, touch the ground. That's where you need to go to get your stretch, go there. I don't need to go very far. That's all I need right here. Good, we're gonna do one more, come up. And we're gonna reach down to the middle, okay? It's that same position we used for a deadlift. Stick your butt back, knees straight, reach forward. Should feel a stretch in both hamstrings between your knees, going up towards your bottom. Good. Let's come up nice and slow. We're gonna do one more stretch and then we will be done for today. We're gonna to stretch our spine out. We wanna let our spine bend. I've had you keep that spine locked out. Let's let it bend now. You're gonna just reach your hands down uh, towards your feet, but I want you to start by rolling your head down. Just gonna roll all the way. Hold for a second or two, then let's come up in reverse order. Start with your bottom. Straighten the low back, mid back. Come up tall. And I'm gonna have you stretch back just a little. Do two more of these. Chin on your chest. Reach down. Feel every little vertebra there in your spine. Get a little bending. Good, then let's come up nice and slow. Low back, mid back, upper back. 
go towards the ceiling, lean back a little bit. Good, one more. Give a little love to our spine here. Let's roll back up nice and slow. All right, I want you guys to give yourselves a big round of applause. That was a tough workout. It looks easy on paper, but if you are pushing it, that will get your heart rate up, that will make you stronger, get to work on technique, get to build strength, get your heart and lungs going. I am so proud of you guys. That was a good workout. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Before we do that though, we've got the obligatory flex. I want yeah. to see you guys flex. Flex see on up. Hold up, let me move you over, it's too bright. Flex on them. Let's we'll see it. Get those big beefy muscles out there. Big and proud. I love it. You guys are awesome. Very good. So we've got a special workout for you guys on Memorial Day. I think Dustin is going to take lead on that for us. Classic workout modified to be perfect for you guys. You may want to try to get a device if you have the option that you can take with you, okay? We're gonna try to get outside for part of the workout. If you can't, that's okay. Come anyway, don't not do the workout because you can't use your phone. But if you got a phone you can use, we're gonna go mobile for part of the workout and then part of it we're gonna do in the house. So either way, you don't wanna miss it Monday, okay? Hope you guys got something good out of the balance work and I miss you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. See y'all. Bubby says bye.